welcome back guys just gonna do a quick video about vintage camper lights and uh, some of the hidden dangers you guys might not know about everybody likes to rebuild these campers and everything but nobody talks about the asbestos that might be in your camper now sometimes you get these vintage lights you can tell this is vintage got a metal tag on it this is the 12 volt 110 fixture out of the Glendale you can see it has a yellow fiberglass insulation on the back and uh, I never had a globe for this you can see the switch for the 12 volt and the 110 and then today when I was helping work at my daughter's house they were taking this light down and look at that there is the globe that fits on that fixture but here's something I noticed it's asbestos behind here so this light doesn't have it but this one does and this is an older light as well you can see the fixture here now if you look this is like a cardboard asbestos back here and everyone gets scared when they hear that you don't really have to worry about it now I'm not using this light this this part of this light will be thrown away I'll keep these screws but I'm going to be getting rid of this. And I want to talk about it because this is out of a house from the 70s, early 70s or late 60s. And when I took my camper part that I'm working on now, my coarse air, behind all the light fixtures, on this part of the light fixture, was this exact same cardboard asbestos material. And uh, you can tell, you can tell when you see it what it is. Don't worry about this. This is not off of here. This is drywall compound. I just got home from work. But I just wanted to talk about the dangers of the asbestos. Is it really dangerous in a light? Well, it can be if it becomes brittle and airborne. But in this state, it's not really dangerous. Now, in my camper, because all the material was on the back, it was not attached. It was just a heat barrier they put in between the, the fixture and the wall, uh, I, I took it all out. I put gloves and a mask on, and what I did was I folded the asbestos cardboard in half after I soaked it with soapy water so I don't get particles in the air. I snapped it in half, threw it in the garbage. That's how I got rid of it. And uh, not on this lamp, but on in, in the camper that I'm working on right now, in the Corsair, every light, had this exact same material. And I just wanted to talk about it because this came out of a house and it had that asbestos material. But I'm not too concerned about it with this light because this is out of the Glendale and it had a fiberglass behind it to prevent the heat. And I want to use this light in my camper, in my coarse air, because it has the 12 volt and the 110 switch right here. I really wish I would have found this globe before I got the paneling put in because I would have put this in the ceiling in my bathroom. That would have been perfect for it because that's where it was in the Glendale. Nice glass globe like this. I don't have to worry about the bulbs or anything. And uh, I thought that would be a nice light in the bathroom. I'm going to repaint this piece. But uh, I don't know. I don't know where I can use this in the camper now because my ceiling's all done. But uh, I was searching for a, a globe for it forever. Now I could always put this in the dinette area and then maybe take the dinette light and put that over the kitchen and just keep my kitchen light as a spare. It's a possibility. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll use this in the dinette. I don't want to use it under the kitchen cabinet but it might work underneath of the or over top of the dining room table. What do you guys think? It's got the grapes and everything on it. Anyways, there you go guys. If you're worried about <clears throat> excuse me, if you're ever worried about asbestos in your camper one of the places you're wanna gonna look is in the light fixtures. So there you go that's what that material is right there so this one here if I were to use this piece and I'm not going to um, 
I would probably paint over this so that it bonds all the fibers to it so they don't become airborne but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna throw this away I just wanted to talk to you guys about it because I don't hear too many people talk about asbestos in the old campers and I do believe some of the old campers can have asbestos in some of the materials that are used in there uh, as in the flooring some of the old floorings they used to use tile floorings used to have asbestos in it so you guys there are dangers that's why you should wear a mask and gloves whenever you're tearing apart one of these old campers but uh, I thought I did pretty good today finding this shade it's got the grapes on it yeah that'll be really nice anyways it's enough chipper jabber until next time guys stay safe I'll talk to you again soon